all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 i'm back with another video all right y'all just back with a real quick announcement video new fight news this is interesting news some breaking news here ufc 276 this fight is being worked on another flyweight matchup coming up for july 2nd we've got jessica i making her return against guess who casey o'neill that's right looks like She's making her return against one of the other potential threats for the flyweight division, but one of the lesser ones that, you know, a lot of people think compared to some of the others. But uh, Casey O'Neill is the matchup for Jessica I now. And I, I try to give Jessica I the benefit of the doubt, but it looks like, you know, she didn't want that fight with Manon Firo. It doesn't look like they're trying to reschedule that anytime for the future, you know. So, um, yeah, this is the matchup that's being made. So, um, as y'all know, Jessica I, um, it's actually been since last July, since her last fight, which was a loss against Jennifer Maya, which everybody could have argued that Jessica I could have won that fight as well. You know, so um, yeah, her last fight back in July, her return is going to be in July. So yeah, she's been out for over almost going on a year, you know, give a week or two, you know. So um, if you look at her resume right now, Jessica I, last fight, Jennifer Maya. Before that, uh, she racked up two more losses to uh, Cynthia Cavillo and JoJo Calderwood. So she's on a three fight losing streak. So this is pretty much a must win for Jessica I. When you look over here on the right at Casey O'Neill, she's on her four fight win streak, you know, um, four good wins, you know, three finishes, one solid lopsided win over uh, Roxanne Montefiore. Right now, you know, Casey O'Neill, she's a new addition to the flyweight division, some new blood, still a raw talent, still putting everything together. And I think she knows that. But um, I think this is another good test test for her. You know, I think this is a good test in the right direction versus, you know, some other fighters that, you know, that show better skills. You know, first she went from uh, Roxanne. Now she's going to go to Jessica I, you know, you know, another fighter that's a veteran, but it's about time for them to go. So it looks like, you know, Casey O'Neill is actually turning into the fighter that's retiring, retiring these fighters. She's actually, actually, you know, she calls herself King Casey O'Neill. We might have to call her Father Time. You know, if she retires another fighter, right, that might be the new nickname. Hey, Father Time might be her nickname or mother time, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, um, my thoughts on this matchup, it's okay. You know, I like this matchup. I think it might turn into a good, you know, scrappy fight. It wasn't really one that was on my radar. I actually wanted to see Casey O'Neill in there with a fighter like M Marina Moreau, just because I think Marina Moreau has like a more polished style of what Casey O'Neill could be. And I think that would be a much solid test for her, just because I think Marina Moreau, even though she hasn't really been active, I think she has this style that could really bring out the best in both of them, you know, both O'Neal and Moreau. Uh, you know, Jessica I is still kind of on that same level of a Roxanne Modafari. You know, she's facing a fighter that's been out for almost over a year on a three-fight losing streak right now. So um, I think that fight is a little bit, not lackluster, but I guess it would be a good test once you do look at what Casey O'Neal offers. You know, Casey's still a little bit uh, green in some areas, so another fighter that is on a losing streak and you know that's a bit older might be another good test for her right so yeah once you look at it that way that's probably a better test for her you know whereas Manon I, I think Manon probably would have went in there and finished a fighter like Jessica I because her skills are a little bit more polished you know in her stand-up area and that type of offense would I think would really be you know um, kryptonite to Jessica I right but here's somebody like Casey O'Neill we have to still see is her boxing on point? Is her kickboxing sharp enough to, you know, get the respect to Jessica I? You know, is her offense that well-rounded to where she can dominate, even like Cynthia Cavillo did on the ground on a fighter like Jessica I? So, I mean, just looking at the resume right here, um, yeah, she's definitely in a must-win, and I'm looking on Tapology. Jessica I did, you know, perform in some grappling tournaments. She lost both of those, so if you want to count that, she's kind of on a big losing streak. You know, I mean, she's been working on her grappling, but lost a grappling tournament to Alima Lay McFarlane on the way as well. Uh, who was the other one? Amanda Cohen, I think. I'm not looking at it right now, but I was just kind of looking at it earlier. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, uh, the more and more I look at this fight, I think it might turn into be something better, but it wasn't really one I was just kind of playing matchmaker with. I thought Aaron Blanchfield versus Jessica I would have been a good, good fight. And since, you know, Casey O'Neill wants to take about another three, four years before she gets to the belt, instead of fighting up, I was like, hey, Maybe she should just fight in the area she's in, fight down. You know, like like I said, those fighters like Marina Bro would be good. Even uh, JJ Aldridge would be good. It would be good, good test for her on uh, on her way to building her skills up. So that's what it really is to me. You know, I think um, 
with her wanting to take the four years off, we're not four years off, but take the three to four year time period before getting to a title shot. I think the matchmakers are saying, okay, I think I know what she means. She needs these type of fights. You know, she needs these type of fights against veterans that have potential threat to her, but they're not as dangerous as somebody like a Jennifer Maya or, you know, even like an Andrea Lee, right? So they want to put her in that realm with the Matafaris and the Jessica eyes. But like I said, man, she might go in there and retire a second fighter. And hey, that's cool with me. I mean, like, like I said, fighters like Roxy, fighters like uh like Jessica I, uh even like some of the fighters in the higher level, like I said, you know, like if Lauren Murphy's about done, you know, some of these fighters, they're gonna be on that block where the new blood is gonna try to weed them out, and that's what it's time to do. You know, we all want to see new blood. So whether you like Casey O'Neill or not, I think, you know, she is some new blood for the division. And I think she does bring some excitement to it. I just want to see her bring a little bit more skill to it as well. That's why I'm like, yeah, take her time, get some work in and um, retire just guy. Right. So let me know, guys, what y'all think of this fight. So it's being on the, it's being worked on. It's in the works for uh, July 2nd. Nothing's finalized. And even if it is finalized, we never know if somebody's going to pull out. And I think if we, if we see just guys show up for this one, I think we can say, it's safe to say that somebody didn't want to take on that big risk, low reward type of fight, if you know what I mean.